I'm Dr. Esposito. I'm an attending anesthesiologist for the Department of Anesthesia. Uh, basically what we do is, um, for a living, we supervise residents, nurse anesthetists, and students, as well as perform our own cases here. And what I mean by that is, um, when you come to surgery, we'll meet you in the preoperative area, and our goal is to learn as much about you as we can, because that helps us to take care of you. And it sounds silly, but what I usually tell my patients is, I look at myself as your guardian angel in the OR. We're basically the primary care physician in the operating room. We make sure your blood pressure, heart rate, or what we call vital signs are rock stable. And if there's any problem during the operation, you need pain medicine, something to treat nausea or vomiting, or anything that the surgeon requests of us, we give you the medications, we do the procedures, we give blood, we do whatever it takes to keep you safe during that procedure. What we ask of our patients usually is to have as much health history before you come to the operating room. We want you to go to your primary care physician so you know your health issues, because the more you know about yourself, the better we can take care of you. I think if you have any old records, like an echocardiogram or EKGs, those are things that we like to know as well. And I think a lot of patients misunderstand what anesthesiologists do. And again, for us to take the best care we can of you, we need to really understand who you are. So after we meet you, we get you into the operating room. And at that time, basically we'll get oxygen on you and all of our monitors that we need, which sometimes requires more invasive monitors, like a line in your wrist or your neck. And that allows us to give you anything we need in terms of drugs, blood products, or monitoring in terms of monitoring your nerves and other vessels in your body that may have damage during surgery. So basically, we just try to protect you in any way possible. Uh, after that, we get you to sleep. And once you're fully asleep, then we protect your airway. And you are fully asleep. People ask, do you need to have a tube? And in order to be fully asleep, you do need to have an intubation. And that's what it's called. But you're asleep through the whole procedure, and we wake you up. And then depending on how extensive your procedure is, either you stay asleep and you go to the recovery room, and we leave that tube in for your safety. Or we wake you up, you go to recovery, and once you're totally recovered to the nurse's satisfaction, then you can see your relatives. Uh, as, as in addition to keeping you safe, our job as attending anesthesiologists is to teach our residents, teach our nurse anesthetists, and teach the students. But at all times, you're either with one or two of us always in the room watching you. Because again, our job, in addition to keeping you asleep and comfortable during the procedure, our number one goal is to always keep you safe. I love what I do. Um, the training process is very brutal, a lot of hours, but um, the end result is great. I say, I have 10 minutes for you to trust me with your life, and I think that's a huge honor. I also um, have the ability, you know, we're one of the few practitioners, if you're on a plane, you want the anesthesiologist there. I am always able to give medical advice to anybody because we take care of babies, pregnant people, young and old, so we have to know everything about every type of uh, patient as well as we do all different types of specialties. So it's kind of an honor that you know if you're on a plane, you're able to save that life. And if any family member asks pretty much about any medical condition, we know a lot about the medical conditions because that's who we take care of. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I feel pretty lucky that this is what I get to do every day. Hi, my name is Carrie Petorti, and I'm an anesthesia technician here at the University of Maryland Medical Center. Uh, basically, um, what we do from day to day is um, we assist the anesthesiologists and the nurse anesthetists. And what that means is when somebody comes in here for a procedure, we're at their bedside um, helping with intubation, which basically means we help um, with anything that the anesthesiologist needs from the time the patient is rolled in until they leave. Um, that's um, putting monitors on. That is helping um, to um, provide us an airway, um, anything that they need. So we um, are also responsible for preparing their um, equipment that they um, need to um, intubate and um, anything else that is required of us. Um, basically we're on call throughout the day. We carry phones and they call us if they need anything. I like being around the medical field. I like learning. We're in like one of the best <laughs> learning hospitals, um, and everyone here is willing to teach. So to be around and be able to help take care of people is it really is an honor to be a part of it, even in, in any little way. is It's a great honor.